In addition, most of the ancient civilizations of Earth and many of the events of Earth have been heavily influenced by the hidden hypnotic operation of the old Empire base. So far, no one has figured out exactly where and how this operation is run, or by whom, because it is so heavily protected by screens and traps. Furthermore, there has been no operation undertaken to seek out, discover, and destroy the vast and ancient network of electronics machinery that create the ISB4 screens at this end of the galaxy. Until this has been done, we are not able to prevent or interrupt the electric shock operation, hypnosis, and remote thought control of the old Empire prison planet. Of course, all of the crew members of the Domain Expeditionary Force now remain aware of this phenomenon at all times while operating in this solar system space, so as to prevent detection and the capture by old empire traps. A domain expeditionary force has observed resurgence in science and culture of the Western world since 1150 AD, when the remaining remnants of the space fleet of the old empire in this solar system were destroyed. The influence of the remote control hypnosis operation diminished slightly after that time, but still remains largely in force. Apparently a small amount of damage was done to the old Empire remote mind control operation which resulted in a small decrease in the power of this mechanism. As a result, some memory of technologies which is bees had already known, before they came to Earth started to be remembered. Thereafter, the oppression of knowledge that is called the Dark Ages, in Europe began to diminish after that time. Since then, knowledge of the basic laws of physics and electricity have revolutionized Earth culture virtually overnight. The ability to remember technology by many of the geniuses in the ISB population of Earth was partially restored, when not so actively suppressed as it was before 1150 AD. Sir Isaac Newton is one of the best examples of this. In only a few decades he single-handedly reinvented several major and fundamental scientific and mathematical disciplines. The men who remembered these sciences already knew them before they were sent to Earth. Ordinarily, no one would ever observe or discover as much about science and mathematics in a single lifetime, or even in a few hundred lifetimes. These subjects have taken civilizations billions and billions of years to create. Isbees on Earth have only just begun to remember small fragments of all the technologies that exist throughout the universe. Theoretically, if the amnesia mechanisms being used against Earth could be broken entirely, Isbees would regain all of their memory. Unfortunately, similar advances have not been seen in the humanities as the Isbees of Earth continue to behave very badly toward each other. This behavior, however, is heavily influenced by the hypnotic commands given to each is be between lifetimes. And, the very unusual combination of inmates on Earth, criminals, perverts, artists, revolutionaries, and geniuses, is the cause of a very restive and tumultuous environment. The purpose of the prison planet is to keep is bees on Earth forever. Promoting ignorance, superstition, and war between is bees helps to keep the prison population crippled and trapped behind the wall of electronic force screens. Isbees have been dumped on Earth from all over the galaxy, adjoining galaxies, and from planetary systems all over the old empire, like Sirius, Aldebaran, the Pleiades, Orion, Draconis, and countless others. There are Isbees on Earth from unnamed races, civilizations, cultural backgrounds, and planetary environments. Each of the various ISB populations have their own languages, belief systems, moral values, religious beliefs, training and unknown and untold histories. These ISBs are mixed together with earlier inhabitants of Earth who came from another star system more than 400,000 years ago to establish the civilizations of Atlanta and Lemuria. Those civilizations vanish beneath the tidal waves caused by a planetary polar shift many thousands of years before the current prison population started to arrive. Apparently, the Isbees from those star systems 
were the source of the original Oriental races of Earth, beginning in Australia. On the other hand, the civilizations set up on Earth by the Old Empire prison system were very different from the civilization of the Old Empire itself, which is an electronic space opera, atomic powered conglomeration of earlier civilizations that were conquered with nuclear weapons and colonized by Isbis from another galaxy. The bureaucracy that controlled the former Old Empire was from an ancient space opera society run by a totalitarian confederation of planetary governments, regulated by a brutal social, economic, and political hierarchy with a royal monarch as its figurehead. This type of government emerges with regularity on planets, whether citizens abandon personal responsibility for autonomous self-regulation. They frequently lose their freedom to demented isbis who suffer from an overwhelming paranoia that every other isbi is their enemy who must be controlled or destroyed. Their closest friends and allies, whom they espouse to love and cherish, are literally loved to death by them. Because such as bees exist, a domain has learned that freedom must be won, and maintained through eternal vigilance and the ability to use defensive force to maintain it. As a result, a domain has already conquered the governing planet of the old empire. The civilization of the domain, although considerably younger and smaller in size, is already more powerful, better organized, and united by an egalitarian esprit de corps, never known in the history of the old empire. The recently despoiled German totalitarian state on Earth was similar to the old empire, but not nearly as brutal, and about 10,000 times less powerful. Many of these bees on Earth are here, because they are violently opposed to totalitarian government, or because they were so psychotically vicious, that they could not be controlled by old empire government. Consequently, the population of Earth is disproportionately comprised of a very high percentage of such beings. The conflicting cultural and ethic moral codes of these bees on Earth is unusual in the extreme. A domain conquest of the central, old empire planets, was fought with electronic cannon. The citizens of the planets forming the core of government for the old empire are a filthy, degraded, slave society of mindless tax-paying workers who practice cannibalism. Violent automotive race tracks, and bloody Roman circus-type entertainments, are their only amusements. Regardless of any reasonable justification we may have had for using atomic weapons, to vanquish the planets of the old empire, a domain is careful, not to rule in the resources of those planets, by using weapons of crude radioactive force. The government of the old empire, before being supplanted by the domain, was comprised of beings who possessed a very craven intelligence, very much like the Axis powers during your recent World War. Those beings manifested precisely the same behavior as the Galact government that exiled them to eternal imprisonment on Earth. They were a gruesome reminder of the ageless maxim that an Isbe will often manifest the treatment they have received from others. Kindness fosters kindness. Cruelty begets cruelty. One must be able and willing to use force, tempered with intelligence, to prevent harm to the innocent. However, extraordinary understanding, self-discipline, and courage are required to effectively prevent brutality, without being overwhelmed by the malice that motivated the brutality. Only a demonic self-serving government would employ a logic or science to conceive that an ultimate solution to any problem is to murder and permanently erase the memory of every artist, genius, skilled manager, and inventor, and cast them into a planetary prison together with political opponents, killers, thieves, perverts, and disabled beings of an entire galaxy. 
Once these bees expelled from the old empire arrived on Earth, they were given amnesia, and hypnotically tricked into thinking that something else had happened to them. The next step was to implant these bees into biological bodies on Earth. The bodies became the human populations of all civilizations which were designed and installed in the minds of these bees to look completely unlike the old empire. All of these bees of India, Egypt, Babylon, Greece, Rome, and medieval Europe were guided to pattern and build the cultural elements of these societies based on standard patterns developed by these bees of many earlier similar civilizations on Sun Type 12, Class 7 planets that have existed for trillions of years throughout the universe. In the earliest times, these bees sent to prison Earth lived in India. They gradually spread into Mesopotamia, Egypt. Mesoamerica, Achia Greece, Rome, medieval Europe, and to the New World. They were hypnotically commanded to follow the pattern of a given civilization by the old empire prison operators. This is an effective mechanism to disguise the actual time and location from these bees imprisoned on Earth. The languages, costumes, and culture of each false civilization are intended to reinforce amnesia because they do not remind the Isbees on Earth of the original old empire planets from which they were deported. On the very far back track of time, these types of civilizations tended to repeat themselves over and over, because the Isbees who created them become familiar with certain patterns and styles, and stayed with them. It is a lot of work to invent an entire civilization, complete with culture, architecture, language, customs, mathematics, moral values, and so forth. It is much easier to replicate a copy based on a familiar and successful pattern. A Sun Type 12, Class 7 planet is the designation given to a planet inhabited by carbon-oxygen-based life forms. The class of the planet is based on the size and radiation intensity of the star, the distance of the planetary orbit from the star, and the size, density, gravity, and chemical composition of the planet. Likewise, flora and fauna are designated and identified according to the star type and class of planet that ye inhabit. On the average, the percentage of planets in the physical universe with a breathable atmosphere is relatively small. Most planets do not have an atmosphere upon which life forms feed, as on Earth, where the chemical composition of the atmosphere provides nutrition to plants and other organisms, which in turn support other life forms. When the domain force brought the Vedicums to the Himalayas region 8,200 years ago, some human societies already existed. The Aryan people invaded and conquered India, bringing the Vedicums to the area. The Vedas were learned by them, memorized, and carried forward verbally for 7,000 years before being committed to written form. During that span of time one of the officers of the Domain Expeditionary Force was incarnated on Earth as Vishnu, he is described many times in the Rig Veda. He is still considered to be a god by the Hindus. Vishnu fought in the religious wars against the old empire forces. He is a very able and aggressive Isbi, as well as a highly effective officer, who has since been reassigned to other duties in the Domain. This entire episode was orchestrated as an attack and revolt against the Egyptian pantheon installed by old empire administrators. The conflict was intended to help free humankind from implanted elements of the false civilization that focused attention on many gods and superstitious ritual worship demanded by the priests who managed them. It is all part of the mental manipulation by the old empire to hide their criminal actions against these bees on earth. A priesthood, or prison guards, were used to help reinforce the idea that an individual is only a biological body and is not an immortal, spiritual being. The individual has no identity. The individuals have no past lives. The individual has no power. Only the gods have power. And... The gods are a contrivance of the priests who intercede between men and the gods they serve. Men are slaves to the dictates of the priests who threaten eternal spiritual punishment 
if men do not obey them. What else would one expect on a prison planet, where all prisoners have amnesia, and the priests themselves are prisoners? The intervention of the domain force on Earth has not been entirely successful due to the secret mind control operation of the old empire that still continues to operate. A battle was waged between the old empire forces and the domain through religious conquest. Between 1500 BCE and about 1200 BCE, a domain force is attempted to teach the concept of an individual, immortal spiritual being to several influential beings on earth. One such instance resulted in a very tragic misunderstanding, misinterpretation, and misapplication of the concept. The idea was perverted and applied to mean that there is only one is B, instead of the truth that everyone is an is B. Obviously, this was a gross incomprehension and an utter unwillingness to take responsibility for one's own power.